Now let us discuss about PDA to CFG conversion. So here a PDA is given. So for this PDA we have to construct the corresponding CFG. We know that PDA is represented with the help of seven tuples. So those are so M is equal to Q. So Q means finite set of states. Here Q naught and Q one are the states. Next one is sigma input alphabet. Here input alphabet mainly contains two symbols A and B. Next one is tau stack alphabet. Stack mainly contains two symbols A and Z naught. Next one is delta. So these are the transition functions. So totally six functions are given. Next Q naught is the initial state. Z naught the initial symbol of the stack is Z naught. Uh, pi is nothing but the final state. So here totally uh, six productions are given here. Uh, so now we have to construct CFG for this PDA. Uh, let us uh, write the solution for this one. We know that uh, CFG is represented with the help of four tuples V comma T comma P comma S. Uh, so V means set of variables. So first let us write set of variables. So V is equal to V is equal to uh, here uh, let the starting symbol is yes so we can write here as yes yes comma we know variables variables means non terminals so non terminals are always represented with the help of some capital letters likewise okay so v is equal to yes comma uh, next we have to write uh, uh, the remaining variables here so for writing the variables what we have to do is we have to combine we have to combine this q with tau q with tau so here the first combination is q naught a q naught a q naught so within the square bracket side so q naught a q naught so this is one more uh, uh, variable so next one q naught q naught a q one so q naught a q1 so next one uh, so uh, starting with q0 is over now let us start with q1 so combine q1 with a so q1 a q0 so q1 a q0 so next one q1 a q1 so q1 a q1 so uh, next we have to take z naught as the middle symbol so till now we have taken a as the middle symbol next we have to take uh, this z naught as the middle symbol so q naught z naught q naught comma next q naught z naught q1 q naught z naught q1 next one Q1 Z0 Q0. So Q1 Z0 Q0. So next one Q1 Z0 Q1. Q1 Z0 Q1. So these are the variables that we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So totally here uh, in context free grammar we have uh, totally 9 variables. Next we have to write the terminal symbols. So there is no difference in the terminal symbols. So here also the terminal symbols are A and B only. A and B only. Uh, next productions. Let us write productions later after writing the start symbol. So let us write the start symbol now. Let us write start symbol. S implies. S implies. Here the initial state is Q0. And the stack initially contains Z0. So we can write here as Q0, Z0. And what are the states here? We have two states. So, so first for this one we have to write Q0. So next one S implies. Here the initial state is Q0. And the uh, initial symbol in the stack is Z0. So Q0, Z0. And what is the next state we have? Q1. Q1. So this is nothing but start symbol. Start symbol productions. So till now we have written. So context free grammar means we have to use four tables. So variables. So variables are written, next to terminals, terminals are written, next to start symbol, start symbol is written. Now we have to write the 
productions. So let us write the productions now. Uh, so for space constraints, I am erasing uh, this portion. So let us erase variables, uh, terminates, and start symbol. Now our target is let us write the productions. So we have to write the productions. So totally one, two, three, six. Six transition functions are given. So for all those functions, we have to write the corresponding productions. Let us consider the first production delta of q naught comma a comma z naught is equal to q naught comma a z naught. Here the stack totally contains uh, two symbols. If there are two symbols in the stack, then totally we have to write four productions. So this is the first production. First production. Next, second production. Second production. Next, third one. Third one. Next, let us write the fourth one. Let us write the fourth one. So this is fourth production. Why? Because here the stack totally contains how many symbols? Four symbols. Uh, the stack totally contains two symbols. So that's why we need to write four productions. Here the stack contains two symbols. So that's why here it, at the right hand side uh, we have to write two productions like this. Why? Because stack contains two symbols. So that's why we need to write uh, one more uh, production here in the right hand side. Uh, so next let us fill this one. So here uh, uh, the set is Q0. So we have to write Q0 here. So in all the productions we have to write Q0. Okay. Next here the stack contains Z0. So this Z0 will be written in the middle. This Z0 will be written in the middle. So Z0, 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 Z0. Okay. Uh, so next here, uh, here the here we have two states are there. What are those two states? Q0 and Q1. So let us write those two states. So Q0. Q0. So let us write Q0 twice. Next, Q1, Q1. So let us write Q0 twice. After that, write Q1 twice. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, here, uh, here we have A as the terminal symbol. A as the terminal symbols. A as the terminal symbol. Let us write this A here. Let us write this A here. Next here, uh, we have Q0 state. So let us write Q0 here. In all the productions, let us write Q0 here. Q0. So next here we have AZ0. So this A will be written here in the middle. This Z0 will be written in this middle. Okay. So let us write A here. Next let us write Z0 here. Let us write Z0 here. Okay. Next here, what are the states we have? Q0, Q1. Here we have written as Q0, Q0, Q1, Q1. Whereas here we have to write as Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1. Here first we have written Q0 twice. Next we have written Q1 twice. Whereas here we have to write in this order. Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1. Okay. Next here simply copy these productions here. Q0. So copy this one here. Q1. So copy this one here. Q0. Here Q1. Next here simply we have to copy these states here. So Q0. So next one, Q0, next one, Q1, so next one, Q1. So all these are the productions which are associated with this transition function, okay. Uh, so now let us write for the next one. So here also the stack contains two symbols. So this is similar to this one only. So if you have any doubts, then by writing uh, uh, the productions for this transition function, all those doubts will be clarified, okay. All those doubts will be clarified. So what is the next transition function? Delta of delta of Q0 comma A comma A is equal to Q0 comma A A. So here also the stack contains two symbols. So if there are two symbols, then totally we will get four productions. Four productions. So this is the first production. Next to second production. Next third one. 
next to fourth one here the star contains two symbols so that's why here we have to write one more fraction okay so first here here we have q naught so let us copy q naught in all the projections next here the star contains a so let us write this a here this a here next here we have two states are there q naught and q1 so let us write q naught twice and then write q1 twice next here here we have q naught so let us write that q naught here the star contains two symbols. Let us write this A in the middle. Let us write this A in the middle. So A, 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 A. And here we have two states, Q0, Q1. So write here as Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1. So let us, let us copy this one here also. So Q0, Q1. Next one, Q0, Q1. So next, we need to copy all these projections here also, all these uh, states. So Q0, Q0, next to Q1, next to Q1. Here we have A as the terminal symbol. So this A will be copied here. A, 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 A. So these are the projections associated with this transition function. So likewise, let us write the projections for the next to transition function. So what is the next to transition function? Q0, comma b comma a is equal to q1 comma a so delta of delta of q0 comma b comma a is equal to q1 comma a here the star contains only one symbol so if there is only one symbol then we will get 2 power 1 so two projections here the star contains two symbols a z dot so that's why it contains 2 power 2 four projections but here the star contains only one symbol so we will get 2 power 1, 2 projections. So this is the first projection. And this is the second projection. This is the second projection. Here the stack contains only one symbol. So this is enough. There is no need to write one more square bracket here. Why? Because the stack contains only one symbol. Okay. So let us write now. So Q0. Let us write Q0 here. Next here. A. So this A is copied here. A, A. Uh, next here we have to write the states. Here we have two states are there. So Q0, Q1. So let us write those two states. Next here the input symbol is B. So this B will be copied here. Next here the state is Q1. So let us write that Q1 here. Uh, next here uh, uh, we have only one A. So let us write that A here. And uh, next here let us write the states. So what are the states here? Simply we need to copy the states. So Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1. So these are the projections associated with this transition function. So we can write the next transition function as, as the, this one only. So fourth and uh, third transition functions are same only. So now let us write the transition function. So what is the transition function? Delta of Q1 comma B comma A is equal to Q1 comma A. So here also the stack contains only one symbol. So we will get 2 power 1. So 2 projections. 2 projections. So this is the first projection. And this is the second projection. Okay. Here after comma the stack contains only one symbol. So that's why here this uh, only one square bracket is enough. There is no need to write one more. One more square bracket projection. So let us copy this one here. Q1, Q1. Uh, next. Next here. The stack contains A. Let us write A here. Next here we have two states are there. Q0, Q1. So let us write those two states. Q0, Q1. Here the terminal symbol is B. So let us write B here. Next here the state is Q1. Let us write Q1 here. And next, simply copy these states here. Simply copy. I am sorry. Here we need to write A. A, A. Next, simply we need to copy the states. So Q0, Q1. So Q0, Q1. So these are the projections associated with this uh, transition function. So now let us write the projections for the remaining two transition functions also. Delta of, delta of Q0, 
वन कामा ये कामा ये इज इक्वल टू क्यू वन कामा एप्सिलॉन क्यू वन कामा एप्सिलॉन ही एट द स्टैक कंटेन्स एप्सिलॉन इफ यू हैव एप्सिलॉन देन वी विल गेट ओनली वन प्रोडक्शन इफ यू हैव एप्सिलॉन देन वी विल गेट ओनली वन प्रोडक्शन ओके सो दिस इज दैट प्रोडक्शन सो हियर वी हैव एप्सिलॉन सो ओनली वन स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट इज एनफ देयर इज नो नीड टू राइट वन मोर स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट सो क्यू वन लेट अस राइट वी कॉपी दिस वन नेक्स्ट लेट अस कॉपी दिस वन ये uh next here uh we have the states so what are the states here here we have q1 so let us copy this that state here so q1 a q1 and uh, uh let us write this q1 state uh next here uh, here uh, here if we have epsilon then we have to write this terminal symbol here so let us observe one more time so this q1 is written here next this a is written here and this q1 we have to write this q1 here if we have epsilon then we will get only terminal symbol here in the middle we have terminal symbol the terminal symbol should be written here okay so it is right for the last one also q1 comma epsilon comma j0 is equal to q1 comma epsilon so here we have epsilon so we will get only one production we will get only one production here uh, uh, let us write that production so let us copy this one here q1 let us copy this symbol here z0 and here what is the state here q1 is the state so let us write the q1 here here we have epsilon so we need to write that epsilon here so if we have epsilon then what is the right hand side production right hand side production is simply the terminal symbol here we have a here we have epsilon uh, so these are the productions associated with uh, these two transition functions Uh, so context free grammar is written with the help of four tuples v variables are already written terminal symbols are a and b productions these are the productions and short symbol is also already written so this is about how to convert pda to cfg